How's it going? I'm getting ready to drive my car camper from Indiana to Florida to film a podcast with some dude that DM'd me on Instagram. And I will be sleeping in my car the whole time. First thing we need to do is gather up the car camping essentials. Smooth transition. Here's all the gear I bring with me while I'm car camping. First is my memory foam pad that I sleep on. I've got a heated sleeping bag, a 50 degree sleeping bag, and a sheet. Windshield cover, magnetic window covers, and window screens. A pillow, and some night lights. And to help deal with condensation, I use damper it and I have it hanging in my trunk right here at all times. A cooler, primarily for lunch meat and eggs. Coleman Camp stove, ran by butane so I can cook. So here are all the cooking supplies I use. Here's the Coleman Camp stove. And then I have my utensils right here, some rice, tuna, noodles, bags, protein powder. There's the pot I usually cook in most of the time. Got some olive oil, garlic, spices. Here's like the hand cleaning station. I have sanitizer, Dawn dish soap to scrub the pan and just some wipes down here. Here's everything I bring inside of my shower bag, just the basics, toothbrush, toothpaste, deodorant, body wash, face wash, razor. Camera bag, engine light reader and fuel cleaner, DoorDash bag so I can make some money on the road, hammock, umbrella, and windshield scraper, and lots of water as well. Go bag and a butt cushion. Up here in the top trunk, I'm bringing a table to cook on, a chair to sit on while I'm cooking, longboard, skateboard, slides, basketball, football, frisbee, baseball, all types of sports, and a shoe dryer, and this sleeping pad in case I want to camp outside. Here's all the clothes I'm bringing on the road trip, basically nine pairs of everything except for pants. I bring a towel and I roll everything up so it's convenient to grab. And that's where those will go. Next we have about a 15 hour drive. Let's hit the road. There's nothing better than starting a road trip with your engine light on. That new Metro Boomin' is fire. Kentucky seems fun. I'm trying to ride that dirt bike so bad. So we finally drove through our first tank of gas and we have 800 miles left to go and we're at 12 hours. So let's go fill up. We're now seven hours and 50 minutes away from Orlando. I am exhausted. And so far I've only ate one cliff bar. It's time to go to Walmart to get some food. Here we are at Walmart. Let's get some food. D8 cent banana, don't mind if I do. Need some breakfast meat, turkey sausage. Need some lunch meat. Cheese for egg sammies and turkey sammies. Sarah Lee whole wheat. Peanut butter. Need some apples to dip the peanut butter in. Need some of that vitamin C as well. Hey, hey. So total everything costs 3307. And we'll add that to our total with all our gas. So first I put down the ice, then the eggs, sausage and cheese. That's how I layer that. Now let's go make a sandwich. We have the most plain sandwich here. Just chicken and cheese with wheat bread. Lunch meat sammies and egg sammies are always my go-tos on the road. Anytime I wanna eat, it's the easiest thing. I'm gonna dig into some tuna as well. This is what I survived on when I drove from Indiana to Oregon the first time. Yummy, 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 yummy. Mmm. Eating tuna, it really isn't that bad though. I'm gonna finish eating this tuna, then we're gonna hop back on the road and try to find a Cracker Barrel to sleep at tonight. So I found a Cracker Barrel to sleep at. Now it's time to make the bed. Next, let's put on the sheet. Now it's time to put up the window covers. Now I just need my pillow and my sleeping bag and I'm good to go to sleep. All right, here's what it looks like when it's finished. You really just need the sleeping bag and the pillow to finish everything off. But here's what the window covers look like on the inside. I don't have one for the back. I usually just stack up a bunch of stuff back there. Yeah, I'll catch you on the inside. About to go to sleep. All right, you guys, I'm laid down for bed, ready to go to sleep. Absolutely exhausted. I'll catch you guys at Planet Fitness in the morning.
Good morning. Last night it was 43 degrees. I slept in Cratersville, Georgia at a wonderful Cracker Barrel. Went to sleep around 11 o'clock at night. Woke up at 6.48. Today is February 11th. Let's get it. For breakfast, I'm going to have an apple, a banana, an orange, and peanut butter. And to get to Orlando, we still have 7 hours and 16 minutes. I'm not going to put my bedding away, but I am going to put the window shades away. Let's get back on the road. Today's breakfast of champions. I'm going to eat this and try to drive for a couple hours. Then I'm going to stop at a Planet Fitness to shower up. So I'll see you guys at Planet Fitness. I'm about to go into Planet Fitness, so I put a change of clothes in my go bag and a towel. And I'm bringing in my shower bag with all my shower stuff. Okay, I'm going to start recording on my iPhone. First thing I did in Planet Fitness was filled up my water and I plugged in my Apple Watch. Next, I did some stretching and some yoga. I really think yoga is an essential part of road trips because it just helps my back so much. Then I got a quick lift in, took a steaming hot shower, brushed my teeth, and then I used the Manscaped razor to shave my beard. That shower felt great, much needed. So I have about six hours left on my drive and I think I'm just gonna send it the whole way. Only stopping for gas and eating apples, peanut butter, and chicken sammies. Third time filling up the gas, we're at $30.05. We're at four hours and 43 minutes. Let's get back on the road. We got an hour and 17 left. We're finally in Florida. It feels good outside. Let's fill up the tank for our last time. Back on the road for an hour 16. Next, we're making some food on the Coma Camp stove. Decided to make a stop at the beach because I needed to see the ocean. It's a pretty sh pretty midday, but it's not that bad. Right now we're at Flagger Beach. I'm gonna chill here for a bit, but I am really hungry, so I'm probably gonna make an egg sammy and then maybe settle somewhere for the night. Uh, I'm not too sure yet. I like to go with the flow, like this whole trip has been. The only reason I'm out here in Florida is to film the podcast. That's our main goal is just to get that podcast filmed. But other than that, Let's enjoy the waves. Now it's finally time to cook an egg sammy at this wonderful Walmart parking lot. When they say don't draw any attention to yourself. Oil that, oil up the pan. Let's get some bread. Piece of cheese, do three eggs. First, we're gonna throw on our sausage. Throw on the eggs. My spices are messed up, dang it. And third one broke. Basically, just throw these on. Boom, smells burnt. Looks pretty damn good to me. Should I eat it fresh off the skillet? Might just have to. This thing is burning my hand. Cheers to that. Next, we're setting up for bed. Here we are at the Cracker Barrel. I never park in the front. I'm gonna go park in the back because they have designated parking back there for people staying overnight. I'm gonna go inside Cracker Barrel and brush my teeth and then I'm gonna set up the window covers. First thing I'm doing is flossing. I like any toothpaste with the charcoal whitening stuff. Watch this transition back to the car. This is an ideal spot to sleep. I'm in the back of the Cracker Barrel parking lot. As you can see, there's other people sleeping in their cars, vans, and RVs. So I feel safe sleeping next to them. Here's a pro tip. When you're putting up your windshield covers, put the visors on the windshield cover to keep it in place. It's a really hot night, so I'm gonna put the reflective side facing outside so the heat doesn't stay trapped in the car. Finally bedtime. It's gonna be 55 degrees tonight in Daytona Beach. Good thing I have this nifty fan. Tomorrow's the podcast day. Tonight's snack before bed is gonna be this apple with some peanut butter. Catch you guys in the morning. Good night. Good morning, America. Today is the day that we've all been waiting for. It is Tuesday, February 14th, 9.20 in the morning. Today around five o'clock, I have a podcast that I'm doing. Very excited about it. Also, happy Valentine's Day. My Valentine today is Liquid IV, Hydration Multiplier. These things honestly make me feel great. Unfortunately, I'm not sponsored. So Liquid IV, respond to your DMs. Today's breakfast of champions. I'm about to go take a shower. Pulling up to Fitness Planet. Get a quick workout in. 
I already brushed my teeth. So after I'm done taking my shower, this is how I hang up my towel. I put it on this headrest and this headrest and just let it sit till it dries. I'm gonna go stop at Daytona Beach and then drive to Orlando for this interview. I'll catch you at the beach. We're back at Daytona Beach, Florida. Look at all these chickens. Look at all those chickens. Hi, I'm Michael Hickey, full-time content creator and traveler. And I'm Kiko from Folks Alert. Kiko, for my audience, where can they check out the podcast that we just got done recording? Folks Alert. It'll be available on Apple, iTunes, Spotify. Spotify. Just telling me, you was just telling me stories about how you travel. Yeah. And you're trying to convince me to go on the road with you. I mean, you might as well, right? But yeah, they'll be available in video. They yeah. Can, they can watch you and they'll see you live. 